Welcome to the November 2022 edition of Open Source Matters, where we cover the latest news in open source technology. I'm your host, Ben Lloyd Pearson. Let's dive in. The Open Source Initiative and Open Logic have teamed up to launch the 2023 State of Open Source Survey that surveys engineers and engineering leadership about the open source software they're using and the challenges they face. The cherry on top, for every valid survey submission, the OSI has pledged a donation of one US dollar to the World Food Program, which will provide two meals to people in need. The survey is open until the end of November and takes about 10 minutes to complete. So if you want to share your opinions about select open source software, check the video description for the link to participate or head over to the OSI blog. As we reported in our last episode, our friends over at the Alma Linux project ran their very first board election since the project's launch. Until now, the community has been led by a small group of founders that were heavily involved in the early days of the project. The Alma Linux folks put a heavy emphasis on the importance of being community-led, so it's important to them that the community selects the leadership. Nearly 300 members participated in the voting process in recent weeks and elected seven new board members who will serve a three-year term. Congrats go out to the Omelytics community for this huge milestone in their community's growth and to the seven new board members who were chosen to lead it. Intel has long been active in many open source communities, and they've recently formalized financial support for Krita, an open source painting program used by a wide range of professionals. Intel is the very first company to become a corporate backer to the Krita Development Fund and hopes to build a tighter relationship with the community to improve performance on Intel chipsets. I'm always a fan of seeing companies provide financial support to open source communities, so this is fantastic to see. You can head over to fund.krita.org for more details on the Krita Development Fund. Google has announced a list of open source contributors that have been selected to receive an open source peer bonus. This is the second time Google employees nominated external open source contributors from around the world, and they have selected 141 contributors from 36 countries across 110 open source projects. Google's goal is to recognize great open source contributors, even if the company doesn't benefit directly from their work. Head over to the Google open source blog to learn more. Now it's time for the open source launch rapid fire. Here are the new projects we're watching. VARC, a security tool that captures snapshots of systems to help investigate security incidents. Metlo, an API scanning and security tool for endpoint discovery, security testing, and threat detection. Whisper, a general purpose speech recognition model from OpenAI. OuterBridge, a low-code workflow automation application to help integrate Web3 and Web2 apps. Worker D, a JavaScript WebAssembly runtime from Cloudflare. Kata OS, a security-oriented operating system for machine learning on embedded devices from Google. Alinea, a headless content management system written in TypeScript. That's your Open Source Matters for November 2022. We'll see you soon.